Are you having trouble getting your Xbox hard drive to show up in Explorer 360? Ian Parker wrote me a comment saying he was having some trouble. After I read his comment, I tried my tutorial again, and then I started to have trouble getting it to mount myself. But fear not, there is a trick I will show you on how to get your hard drives to mount in Explorer 360. Welcome back to part 13B of modding the original Xbox. This is an update video for number 13, Hot Swap Soft Modding. I got two things I wanted to bring up here. I wanted to make this video to help people out and realize how difficult it can be to get the hard drive to show up. So let's begin. Previously I mentioned you should remove the power cable from the DVD drive to get error 12. For this video I won't be doing that. I changed my strategy to leave everything plugged in as normal and perform the hot swap with the Xbox booted to its stock dash. One thing I didn't mention because it wasn't an issue for me was that the hot swap needs to be done fairly quickly. You have less than 5 seconds typically to perform the hot swap. Let's take a look at how many times it takes me to perform the hot swap on both a Western Digital and a Seagate hard drive. So currently I have a WD hard drive plugged in. What I will be doing here is plugging in my USB to IDE adapter into a USB extension cable that is run to the back of my computer. Immediately after it's plugged in, I will unplug the IDE cable and plug in the IDE to USB adapter. So here we go. Okay, so it's plugged in now. Let's check it with Explorer 360. Dang, no such luck. Let's verify it's in disk management. And it wasn't, so let's click Action and rescan disks. Okay, now the drive showed up. Let's try it again. Still couldn't find it. Now, what I've done here is I put XboxHD.bat, which is the Xbox hard drive maker. And we're only going to use this to verify that the hard drive is either locked or unlocked. So if you press 5, you can use check lock status to verify if it's locked or unlocked. Alright, looks like we'll have to increase the counter. Alright, I'm going to put everything back the way it was and we're going to boot the Xbox like normal. Okay, so we're booted up. I'm going to just plug the USB cable in on this one and then I'll pop this in when I get a second here. Just to see if it makes any difference. Looks like with this one I mispinned it, so I'm going to have to start all over again now. Let's put everything back and increase that number to three. Okay, we're booted in the dash. Let's give it another shot. Here we go. Okay, in disk management here, we can rescan the disks. You can see now the drive shows up, but its partition doesn't show up. And Xbox HD says it's still locked. So, this one was another fail. Let's try moving up the counter to number four. So I put everything back and rebooted the Xbox. Let's try this again, as quick as we can. No, I think I mispinned it. All right, move that up to number five. It sure can get frustrating, can it? But I guess I'm showing it to you this way because uh, I want you guys to understand that there's gonna be some trial and error here, so. Okay, I'm gonna try as fast as I possibly can here. Let's give it a shot. Okay, just like that, it's all plugged in. Let's open up Explorer 360. Still can't find it. Oh, the drive just mounted. Oh, there we go. We can see our partition. So partition three is our stock dashboard. Now I'm just gonna delete everything here. You might wanna make a copy of this, but I've already did previously. Now, 
Well, in my last video, I said you needed to do this thing with Endor and you know put an old soft mod on there, but you really don't have to do that. Underneath the Rocky 5 installers is the XBHDM build. You may have to cl double click the build installer variants.bat file, and then you should be able to get a zip file with these files on it. Now, as far as the E partition, I'm just going to delete these files. You don't have to do this. These are just old game saves from the Xbox. I want to make it all clean, so. And the cache folder is not necessary here either, so we're going to delete that as well. So I just want to show this really quick. The uh, XBHDM build.zip is in the uh, Rocky 5 Xbox Soft Mounting Tool Master folder. Now if you don't have this in here, you can just run the build installer variants.bat file and after that's all done, you'll have the XBHDM build.zip folder. And then what you can do is just choose to extract this or just copy the folder out of the zip file and then inside there are your seed drive files. A very special thanks goes out to City Rover who left a comment in my last video about this. At the time of making that video, I didn't even know about it and after reading his comment on it and trying it with my Xbox HDM video, it definitely makes sense just to copy these files straight to the hard drive. You'll save a lot of steps by doing it also. Okay, so now let's go back to the Xbox. I'm gonna power it off and we're going to plug everything back to the way it was and go ahead and power it up. And when we boot, you should see this. So now you can just follow the rest of my other tutorial if you need or just click your way through it. Now, as I said earlier, I have a Seagate drive as well. I'm going to quickly run through these so you can see how many attempts I had to go through before I could get it to work. Okay, so let's check this one and nope. Check it with Xbox HDM and it's locked still. All right, let's try again. Move the counter up to two. And okay, this starts to look pretty good here. We got the partition showing up. So this Xbox has already been modded. So let's go ahead and put the original files back on the hard drive. Now, everything looks to be good, but the problem is this whole thing is frozen. And when I try to check the hard drive using Xbox HDM, it doesn't even come back saying it's locked or unlocked. So something froze up here and we have to start all over again. Okay, counter is moved up. So let's go ahead and try this again. And this didn't work. Let's reset everything. Hopefully this works this time. Okay, it doesn't get any quicker than that. And there we go, now it's working. So let's quickly go in here and remove these old dashboard files. Okay, I deleted all those and I'm copying over the stock files back to the C drive. Then underneath partition four, I'm just gonna delete everything and copy the stock E files back. Remember, partition four contains your game saves and custom soundtracks. If you care about these, then back them up before you delete them or don't delete them at all. Now back on the original Xbox, I'm gonna power it off, unplug my IDE to USB adapter and plug the original IDE cable back in and let's power it on. There you go, we just reverted an Xbox back to the stock dashboard. Hopefully this video will help you guys out in at least one way. I explained how to do a hot swap as quickly as possible and you no longer need Endor, your kernel version, or anything other than the XBHDM files provided by Rocky 5 SoftMod. This should help you complete your SoftMod even quicker. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and again a very special thanks to City Rover for his advice. If at any point something I say doesn't make sense or could be done better, I would highly appreciate your comment so I can make sure I'm presenting the easiest, quickest, and overall best method to do something. Thanks and see you in the next video.